Meanwhile, President Trump bringing his America First approach to Davos, encouraging world leaders to put their nations ahead of others. So can that message resonate among uh, the global elites? Uh, let's talk now with the Vice President uh, Mike Pence, his Chief of Staff, Mark Short. Mark, I, I'm saying that I think President Trump's speech this morning in Davos was his very best speech, economic speech. Uh, the tone was perfect. You know, two years ago, he challenged the global elites. They said it couldn't be done, not if you use tariffs, not if you use lower taxes, not if you lower regulations. But it's gone beyond just, it's, it's empowered the entire country. Uh, the economic gains have been so broadly distributed. Well, Charles, thank you for having me. And, and to your point, I think the president isn't just speaking to the so-called global elites, that audience. He's speaking to the world through that forum. And what he's articulating is, is we think, a miraculous recovery with our economy. To think about it, it's, it's more than 7 million jobs that have been created since this president came into office. And the Congressional Budget Office predicted at this point in the administration the economy would have generated less than 2 million jobs. Yet we've created over 7 million. The reality is that wage growth, growth for 18 months has now averaged 3 percent when inflation has been non-existent. And you see the unemployment at 3.5%, which is the lowest it's been since 1969, all-time lows for African Americans, all-time lows for Hispanic Americans. And I think the president has articulated what he saw could happen if we actually lowered the tax rate, reduced regulations, and as you have shared on your, on your show, now last week completing significant trade deals with China and USMCA is one more step in continuing this, this tremendous recovery and hopefully more, more growth in the years to come. Uh, in the meantime, Vice President uh, Pence is heading uh, on to a very important trip for the administration. What can you tell us about it? Well, at the president's direction, the vice president will be traveling to Israel on Wednesday and uh, the ceremony on Thursday, which marks the end, the 75th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz. Uh, this is uh, an incredibly important moment for the world, and the vice president will be one of a few uh, world leaders who have an opportunity to speak into that moment. And uh, from there, we'll, uh, the vice president will head to the Vatican, have a meeting with the pope, uh, at the same time that uh, hundreds of thousands of people will be gathering right here in Washington, D.C. to celebrate uh, the March for Life. And uh, this administration, as you know, has stood firm uh, to protect uh, the most innocent of lives. And uh, this vice president will be meeting with the pope at exactly that time. So uh, we're looking forward to a great trip. Yeah, that should be a, an amazing uh, uh, meeting between us to the pope today commenting on globalism. I think he's still a fan of it. Mark Short, thank you very much. Appreciate it.